Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. I am Sir Ali and I am going to tell you the importance of English language. As you know that English language has been international language or English language is being considered as a, a tool of communications all around the world. So being English language learners, I would like to share some of my experiences with you. First of all, why English language is very important for you? Why English language has become international language? And why it has become so important for your career, for your professions? Yes, English language has become a matter of do and die for everybody. Whether you are an engineer, you are a doctor, you are a lawyer, you are a businessman, and even you are a teacher. You cannot live without English language. Wherever you are and whatever your profession is, you must need English language in your own professions. Okay. So, first of all, I would like to share one point or one problem that normally the all peoples, all students are facing when they get involved in learning English language. And what is that? The problem which the all students are facing when they are going to learn English as a second language. They try to translate English language in their own native language. How? Well, I'll give you some examples there. Whenever I ask to any of my students to come up in front of the class and say something in English, what the student do? He does the same thing, the all the students. They translate some sentences in their native language, then they translate into English. Definitely it takes time. When it takes time, then the pause comes, the gaps come in his communication. When the gaps come, the all confidence comes down. It means that, as a result, the students isn't able to speak a single sentence. So, this is the mindset of the all students. They are learning English language as second language. So, the question is this, is there any solution for that? Is there any solution? Yes. And the solution is what I am going to write on the board. Right. The sentence is Leg fluency comes, accuracy can wait. What does it mean? Leg fluency comes, accuracy can wait. Leg fluency comes, accuracy can wait. What does it mean? It means that, and who has made the sentences? Who has designed the sentences? Not me, myself, being a native Urdu speaker. It has been designed by the professors of Oxford Universities or Cambridge Universities or the grammar grain or you would say the linguistics papers. What they are, what is the advice of those professors they are having English as a native language? Let first it comes, accuracy can be. Which comes first? Fluency. And which can be with? Accuracy. That the problem is this. The old people, the old people, I'm talking about the Pakistani people, right? The being a Pakistani, I have got experience to, to teach the Pakistani people. Wherever they come and join my language centers or join me, they do this. Initially basis, they do this. What? Whenever I ask them to translate something, something, or say something in English language, they first make the sentence in Urdu and then translate in English. Or if I ask a question, and this is a question which has been asked for 12 years or 10 years in LA, as I have been teaching for 10 years or 11 years, so I have been asking this question to all of my students. Why don't you speak English language? That is a very amazing answer. I all the time I get. And it is a universal truth answer from the whole Pakistanis. They, they answer me 
if I make a mistakes, people laugh at me. If I cannot get the right sentence, what happened? If I am unable to make the right sentences, so all the people gaze me. This is the problem. So what is the solution? Solution is here in this sentence. Let fluency come. What does that mean? It means that you try to be fluent yourself. You try to speak yourself again and again practice it. You try to be fluent first. Once you have been fluent in your speaking, then accuracy is gradually and by the passing of time comes in your personality. So don't get stuck while speaking. Try to be fluent and try to get your classes, try to make your vocabulary and get your vocabulary, get your sentences, get your first phrases according to the merits and try to pile up different things and try to use in your speaking. But what do you do first? That is try to be more and more fluent. Thank you very much. This is Sir Ali.